Hello and uh, welcome back. I had uh, a lot of uh, views on this uh, microscope uh, here. This, uh, I don't know, seven, nine inch, it's, it's quite big. And uh, it is cool because you can use it immediately without anything. But it starts at, at, at around $50. So for some that could be, uh, yeah, it, it is a, a pretty uh, amount. Um, but I also found now this one. It's a li little Wi-Fi microscope. And uh, it seems that it it is more or less the same. Uh, but if, but of course, without the screen, without all the things. Um, but I did look, it does only work with Wi-Fi if you have an Android or iOS. So it is nice, it's below $10. And it's nice to play with it. It also has LEDs just, just like this one. And um, yeah, it even has an internal battery, if I if I must believe the, the, the specs. Uh, if you have the Wi-Fi model, usually they are like two megapixel, but the Wi-Fi model, I did not find with that. So this is a, a 0.3, so it is very low. But before I make my uh, conclusion uh, on that, i like to try that. So uh, just let's see what we have here. Okay, here we have the box. Wi-Fi digital microscope. Uh, you, do need, you do need the tablet, so I have my, my old iPad here. And well, I will, I will guide you through the, to the installation process. Uh, if you do have the Wi-Fi version, it, uh, yeah, you have the two versions, I think. This is just all there, it's a bit, uh, Confusing. This is 0.3 megapixel, and this is the 2 megapixel. But what I found, as soon as you have the Wi-Fi, it uh, just drops, and maybe it's because of the transfer speed that uh, that you cannot have the higher model. But just let let's see what we have. Okay, there is a little uh, manual. Is the Wi-Fi you do need iOS or Android, so you cannot use it on your PC. I did, I did try that, and it apparently is a Wi-Fi uh, point, so you need to connect to that directly first. So you will lose your internet on your iPad while using the microscope. And also you need the microscope to even read the manual because it's really small and I put it also for download. It has a nice feed. It has USB to charge, some sort of calibration seat thingy. And let's see. This is really the first time I uh, open it. Yeah, it does look very similar. It goes up to a thousand. There is also that goes up to twelve hundred or sixteen hundred, I think. But that is the yeah, that's the other model. The you can switch it on. Oh, the battery is dead. I think. Well, let's try to, and there's even a snapshot function. Let's first uh, charge. Meanwhile, it's charging. I will guide you through the installation uh, process with my screen recorder. So we have here the on-off button. This is the zoom. And uh, 
focus so you just focus like this it's just a lens that goes in and out i think you can see now it's almost sticking out and then you go back you also see the leds in the in the front so if we switch it on we can do with or without the leds so first i just switch it on one two Yes, it's on, I see a blue light, and I think with the wheel, sort of a pot, you can adjust the brightness. Oh, it has batteries, so for now I will switch it off. Now I do a little bit, just to see it switched on. And now we should be able to connect to the Wi-Fi. This is sort of an access point, so we need to connect the iPad to the to the microscope so it needs to be switched on so i'll just leave it as it, as it is i will go to the screen recorder So we did now connect it to the iPad, and but it's all a bit shaky and everything. So what I'm just kind of trying to do, I will just put the microscope on the fixed, and then we're just gonna try to focus. And what about this? And that's not my idea. It was one of the viewers. He said, well, if you have this light, no, you, it, it is in the way anyway all the time. So if you can somehow stick it on here and then you can just move the microscope any height. And that is actually a very good, cool idea because if you put it like this and you just need to put some tape or look at that, you can see meanwhile the screen here, you can just zoom it a little bit now it's focused and if you want to be really 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 close you just need to readjust the focus here you can even see it in the paper in the screen here or if you need to have a bigger distance that is usually a, a problem with the other microscope if that uh, if that you want a higher difference at some point you cannot adjust the, the microscope any further but with this with the arm it's of course no problem at all yeah sorry it's all a bit shaky i think you get the idea so it does work but uh yes you can indeed see it's a 0.3 megapixel instead of 2 megapixel and the other one is even 12 so but I think if you want to see the circuit board, uh, well, I have here a circuit board. Let me put it, let me zoom in on the board because that is probably what you want to do. Look at this. Uh, yeah, it's upside down, so I'm totally confused where I'm, where I'm at. Wait. I'm now zooming in a bit. I'm here now on the resistor. So what if I just... Uh, and that's the text on the board. That is okay. You can see clearly it's 5, 10. So that is uh, 51 ohms. Yeah, it is a bit, bit shaky. I must confess, and if you go a lot closer, let me need to 
I'll readjust. But it is possible. Yeah. Well, for what you pay, I don't think it is. It is bad, and this 0.3 megapixel, it is not necessarily bad because you're only looking at such a small portion. And the screen is big, and it's also very convenient to, because the iPad is very small, so I can just put it there or just put it there, whatever I want. Okay, I'm now using the feed what it was designed for. I'm really pointing at the board. And um, as you can see, you can get it very, very good focused. And then um, it is enough. It is enough. The, the only thing that bothers me a little bit is if you start to focus it, it just moves all around. But um, if you're focusing with the uh, with the stand instead of with the uh, with the wheel, that is maybe not even a problem. Um, I'm not recording right now, but I I think I hear a button snap. So if I, yeah, it says snapshot taken. I can zoom in with. Okay, we have now both. I tried to push the snapshot button, but yeah, as you can see, it will probably shake all around. Okay, it's taken, so that works. So what I can try to do now is try to create a video. Put it in the middle first, and then I need to push two seconds, I think. One, two, start recording. So now it's recording. We can see indication here on the bottom. And later I will just add it to my video, so you can see the quality, so now I'm, yeah. Try to move a little bit. Well, it is not super, super bad for the seven dollars. It has a battery. It has a lens. You can focus it. The only thing is a little bit difficult to see which which way is up because it's around. But uh, yeah, cool. Okay, stop the video. Got to shake a bit again. Do a recording successful. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna look in the program, and you can switch it over from 1080 to 720, and of course we prefer the 1080. Um, yeah, we can zoom and zoom in because that uh, uh, it is switched off, so it's not making any connection. But uh, we can go to the file menu, and here we have the pictures that we made. Well, it's not surprised that, of course. It was a bit shaky, the other picture, so that didn't work that well. Maybe this should have put a delay because always when you push the button, you will start shaking the thing. But uh, yeah, we used it for live video and that is great. So we switch over from picture to video and now we can replay it. And now you can see that it is not that bad. Usually this would be enough. So if you already have an iPad or an Android uh, tablet, it is not, not, not that bad. And I like that you can do, if you put it on the, on the lamp, as I uh, showed, then you can actually have a, a lot of a bigger difference from the object than, than you have with the other. So I think this is nice as an extra also just to have as an extra on top of the other for if I have a larger objects to, to see. And I think you can even export it, hopefully, to 
your library. So if I push like this, uh, access photos, yeah, you can access my photos. Saved to the album. So perfect. Now I can add it to the video. I am surprised by this uh, $7 uh, microscope. Of course you get what you pay for, but I think you get a lot because you get Wi-Fi, you get the battery. And uh, when you zoom in, it, it, the picture is quite good. And uh, But you do already need to have a tablet because otherwise it's going to be quite expensive. And maybe even if you, well, if you are lucky enough to have an iPad Pro, you have a huge screen, so that will, you will really benefit from that. And uh, also, if you can uh, properly mount it on your desk light, then you really also have the advantage that you can also have for the bigger objects. You can really have a bigger distance. And uh, the lens is adjustable really from zero to a thousand times, so that is also uh, very nice. So uh, I'm, I'm uh, surprised that it is actually performing a lot better than I thought. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.